Hey guys, I'm Ozia, and today we're actually going to do the uh, friction heater, which is uh, one of the things you probably want to do early in the game, but um, I sort of skipped it um, using the thermal expansion stuff uh, to cook all my stuff. But um, the friction heater um, does have its benefits, such as uh, the ability to like insta cook stuff, so we're going to try and do some of that today. Um, you're going to need a couple of shaft units, two base panels and three HSL steel ingots. It's pretty simple. Okay, just go to your work table, three down the side, two base panels on the bottom, two slots, and two shafts above that. Get yourself a friction heater. Okay, so the friction heater um, works with a furnace, just an ordinary furnace, so we've got one. Uh, we're gonna need to supply at least 32 Newton meters of force. Uh, speed requirement is, there is none really, you just need the, the new meters. Um, we're also going to supply that power with uh, some electric craft power that we've already got from our reactor. And we're going to try and limit the amount of power going into it later on as well. So we need some of this stuff. And we're also going to hopper the stuff out, so yeah. Okay, excellent, alright. So we've got a friction heater, and I want to roughly put it about here. So I'm gonna put it down. Hmm, it's gonna be interesting. How am I gonna get the power to it? Uh, let's just stick it out a bit. Uh, okay. So I'm gonna place it here. Green being the input, of course. And then what you do is put a furnace on the other end, like that. And let's just hook the power straight up, just so we get it running first. Uh, rotate that around to the red, yep. And then we just need to hook power cables into it. Uh, actually, should I run the power up? Mm. There. There. And then up. Oh, there we go power into it. Let's hopefully this thing doesn't melt the furnace. Um, you can melt furnaces if you put too much heat into it. 2000 degrees Celsius, that's hilariously a lot. Okay, hopefully, yeah. I don't know what temperature it does take to melt a furnace. It looks like we are surviving at 2000 degrees. I will see anyway. Now let's see how fast this thing cooks stuff. Stone. Insta cook, yay! <laughs> so obviously, uh, we're putting a lot of power into it. So let us try and snuff that power out of it. Uh, okay. Like that. Hmm. Put a relay. Can I put a relay there? Yeah, I'm gonna put a relay right there. Cable there. I don't even run out of room. Hmm. Oops. Put the relay there. Okay, we'll just loop the power back around. Uh, okay, so relay there, resistor. So if you don't know about the relay, the relay, uh, you can supply a redstone signal to it. As it's at way at the top says uh, it's disconnected. So if you fire a redstone signal, it allows power through it. Uh, the resistor, of course, uh, is a resistor. Okay, so we can run power. That's going to touch. There we go. So the power lines connected, they're not uh, connected properly yet. Okay, so at this point we've got 
one amp okay so one amp equals eight newton meters of torque so we need to set our resistor up for four uh, so have I got some more stone yeah okay so I can stand on it so the middle one is our ones column so we want it to be four, so we're going to use Dan one yellow. So it says current limit now four amps, which uh, times by eight equals 32 newton meters of torque. Okay, so once we apply a redstone signal, so can I just? I was going to use all this redstone cable, but uh, it's too much now. Uh, Okay, with a lever. Get a lever. Put that there. Get this uh, redstone out of the way. You can just use ordinary redstone if you want to. Okay, flick it on. Connected. Now powering up to 500, 640. How fast is this thing going? Okay, so 261 kilowatts, 8,186 rads. So it's going at 32 and we're doing about 800 degrees Celsius. So let's see how fast it'll cook sand. Yeah, that's all right. Uh, okay, what can we change that to? Have I got any other dyes? Mm. Nope, nope. Dyes, dyes, and dyes. No rejected dies. Lapis. What? I can't remember what lapis was. Let's just see what lapis is. Let's see if we can add more power to it by adding, changing the resistor. If you want to check out uh, the electric craft tutorial I did, just so you know uh, what the color codes are for the resistor is, I'll just put a link up uh, on the screen now. Bing! Okay, right click here. There we go. Ah, uh, 6 amps, so we should have increased the power a fair bit. Okay, so we're going past 800, and we're supplying 392,000 kilowatts. That's a big jump. Okay, how fast do we got this going now? It's even faster. How about... Uh, I've got some brown dye somewhere. Uh, we'll just add some brown dye to the first column. Okay, brown dye, brown dye. There it is, cocoa beans. We'll increase the power up to 16 amps. There we go, 16 amps. 1000 degrees. Okay, there we go. 1100 degrees. Okay, how fast is it now? Well, that's pretty good. Uh, okay, let's go. Even faster, 46 amps. And that should go up 1300. While that's cooking up, we're gonna see if we can automate the system a bit. Um, okay, so let's just do the popper chest thing first. Put a chest down, like that. So it should automatically eject. Okay, okay, that was pretty fast. Yep. Okay, so we've got some item duct, pneumatic item pipes. Yep. Okay, so... Let's go... Here. Oh, actually, no. Pointing in the wrong direction. There it is. Okay. There. Okay, 
There we go. Oops, I forgot this. I'll turn this off in here. There we go. There we go. Now it's got power. Okay. Cobblestone there. Now I need a DC engine. DC engine. Got plenty. Okay, flip that around. There. Got a lever, yes. Okay, so that should automatically pull out of the extractor and into the furnace. Have I got anything worth extracting? Okay, don't want to do the floor up. Um, yeah, lapis. And some silver. Yeah, might as well do all of them. Okay, it's gone through fast. Getting about uh, how much power we're we putting this thing? 187 million watts. Right, so thank you to the nuclear reactor over there. Yay! Okay, it's automatically drained out. Should pop in there. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> uh, take that thermal expansion and AE. Ah. Hmm. Yeah. So I think that's about it for today, guys. Um, so that's the uh, friction heater. Uh, you want to link to the uh, the electric craft um, tutorial I did. Uh, put that up, and I've also I've also really blah blah words words can't come out of my mouth. I also did a, a tutorial on rotary craft um, ore processing, including the react uh, the extractor. And the grinder, so I redid that because there's a little bit more information in it, and I'll put that up on screen now too. So I think that's about it, guys. If you if you liked it, hit the like button, of course. Uh, um, stuff and do other stuff, and uh, yeah. And until next time. Nah.